This video is to explore the flow passages of the oil in, in a uh, vein pump here. And this is a double vein pump here where you're going to have a cartridge in the front half and a cartridge in the rear of the pump as well. Um, I'm just going to ex be explaining this with a single cartridge, uh, ex exploring just the rear cartridge only, but what, what uh, applies here applies the same to the front of the pump. So to explore the, the cartridge kit here, a vein cartridge kit basically when you look at these, and I'm, I won't cover that in this video here, but basically is two pumps in one. And so what you're going to have in this is you're going to have two inlets to this to this vein cartridge here. There's an inlet on this side here and this side here, but when I tip it to the tip it to the side here, this is also tied to that, and this is also an inlet to this same side of this of this vein cartridge itself. But it also applies to this side as well. So. And then when we look at this end of this here, then what you've got is this is the high pressure passage here. So the outlet of each of the vein pumps here ties into this passage right here. It's sealed with this seal that goes around here as well as the O-ring that's on the nose there. And these seals here will actually mate up into here. The smaller, the smaller diameter here will fit this smaller diameter here. And this large seal here goes down into this groove here and seals that. And the oil that's 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 produced by this this cartridge kit here, then ends up in this channel right here that comes through and out the outlet of the pump. So that's the that's the pressure side. The important part here is uh, is on the inlet side of this vein cartridge here. And when we look at the rear of this here, you'll notice that there's going to be two dowel pins in this in this cartridge kit here. And in this housing here, when we look down inside of it here, you'll see a dowel pin hole there and a dowel pin hole here. So if I take this cartridge kit here and put it in, in the proper way here, okay, what you're going to do here is drop that in here. Okay, it's in the dowel pins there. Okay, as I tilt this up here and look to the inlet here. Uh, let me look at from the rear here. Okay, we can see that that the way this this is cast here is that we have a, a clear opening right into this part of the uh, vein pump, into the inlet part, and then we have those open to that part of the inlet to the vein pump as well. And it's uh, going to be difficult to see in this video here, but um, it is also cast. Um, cast in there so that the oil can get to can get to this part of the vein pump as well so you're getting oil that's being fed into both ways there so if the cartridge kit is, in, is not installed properly okay when you take a look at this here you can see how this housing here is machined smooth along here try to get some more light on it here more light there and uh, so you can see how this is this is smooth in this area here so if I were to take this now and, and the proper way to install that is this is this way here um, so this so these passages would be open then to the inlet cavity but if I turn this anything from that what I'm doing now is I'm lining up those inlet condition the inlet part to that part where that was machined there and that's going to block off the the flow completely to this passage here there might be a little bit on the end that's opened up here but for the most part most of this is going to be blocked as well here and then when you look at that step that's uh, machined down in here that will also then block off the oil into this here so it's going to be very limited about how much oil can get into this cartridge and it can really cause some catastrophic failure so again, it's important that these, these dowel pin holes, the dowel pins here, line up with the dowel pin holes in there uh, when assembling this uh, vein pump.